Hey Guitar Chamber, what's going on? Justin Hombach here, back from my practice cave and welcome to today's video, the big lesson of Perpetual Burn by Jason Becker. Here we go! <music> Okay, in this video we're going to face the complete Perpetual Burn song. I'm going to teach it to you guys from start to finish. But first let me tell you this, the way how I teach this is the way how I covered it. It can differ a little bit from how Jeff Loomis is covering it or some other people are covering it. There are no really live footage of Jason, how he's playing this song. I took inspiration by Jeff Loomis and all of the other guys, but sometimes I mix in my own version how I would play it or how some fingerings would be more comfortable for my playing. So before all of you are starting to write down, mm, this is not how it's sound, how it plays, and then, and then, yes, this is my version, that's the version I teach here, and I tried to come as close and as near as Jason. So this was a lot of work, a lot of hours I put in into this video, into filming this video and editing this video, but it was really worth it. Because I've done this for my community, for all of you guys. You asked for it and here is it. Now if you want to do me a favor, then feel free to hit the subscribe button, to like this video or to share it so this channel can grow and we can grow as a community. This would be really awesome. All right, the full transcription you will find as a PDF in the download link in the description box. There you can download this as always for free. So now we are going to my new short shout out section where I'm going to shout out some of your comments and thank for all of your support. Here we go. And the first shout out goes out to Frankie or from my last video, five incredible licks in the style of Jason Becker. Nice video, cool licks. I think I've practiced more arpeggios just noodling along to the video than in the past six months. This is awesome. You always should practice your arpeggios and your scales and stuff like this. Frankie is also a really good friend of mine. I highly recommend to you guys to check out his channel. He is doing some really cool instrumental music uh, in the style of Keith Marrow, Ola Englund, Jeff Loomis, all of those guys. So really worth to check out his channel. So thanks for your comment. Really awesome, Frank here. Hope I'm going to see or hear a little bit more music pretty soon from you. The next one is from a bit older video from my How to Play As I Am by Dream Theater video. It's from Chasey Whiteside. Man, I wish I had the control with my picking. I need some direction on exercise, I think. Don't stop practicing your picking technique, the control will come. Try to learn some solos from Paul Gilbert or from John Petrucci. Those are really, really good exercise to improve your picking. Amazing job, you seriously are hitting the nail on the head for some of my most respected solos. Thank you very much for that comment. As I've said, try to continue practicing your picking. Um, it's really worth it. Our picking technique is important for us shredders. There will be coming some lessons for picking control, I guarantee to you guys, so stay tuned. All right, this was my little shout out section. If you want to get shouted, then feel free to write in the comment in the comment section. And now let's start with the lesson. Okay, let's begin with the intro. Let's begin with the section where a lot of people are playing it differently. This was right in the beginning, the hardest part to check out how somebody is playing it. <clears throat> I don't have a whammy bar right now or something which uh, I can play, make this effect on it, but of course, Jason is using on that one note, that thing here. The way I play it, it's like this. I have analyzed this lick on my Five Incredible Jason Becker Licks video, but let's try to check out this again. Um, I am just simply playing an A minor 11 arpeggio, <coughs> starting on the, sorry, an E minor 11 arpeggio, starting on the E, playing E, and the 7th the D, the 5th the G, uh, the B, sorry, the th minor 3rd the G, and then back to the E. I'm doing it as with an upward sweep. In taps it's, it's 12, 15, 16, 17 from the E to the D string, and then 14 on the D string. Everything ascending, and then playing the 11th, the A on the 17th fret of the E string. Ah, sorry, I'm not... Then we are only transforming or we are variating this kind of arpeggio idea. And the second idea is playing something like this. Mm. 
It's the same idea, but we instead of the 16th fret on the G string, we are playing now the 17th fret, and instead of the E, we are playing the F on the 15th fret of the D string. So we are creating, so we are creating this F major 7 6 sound. Then we are going back to the same through the beginning shape, the first shape, and then. But here we are playing the 13th fret on the D string, the D sharp. Yeah, sorry. And then we're going back to our beginning shape. Let me try to play all of this slow. So now the third shape with the D sharp in it. Um, I think he's doing a little bit more of an alteration uh, there. Maybe he's playing something like something like this. But for me, here I was more thinking of okay, which note is the most important note? And this is the D sharp on the D string. And the shape for me, it, it's, it was more important that I can play it easily. So I changed it a little bit maybe maybe as i've said in the beginning it's not really clear how jason is playing all of this we are here we are here now a little bit like indiana jones or somebody like that like lara croft finding out which way he was playing it in the ancient ways and stuff like this which is really awesome to be honest this idea is kind of epic so let's continue with our journey from perpetual burn okay the second part of the intro goes like this or now I would say the main theme. Yeah, it's kind of the main theme here. Yeah, that's the way. So, we are outlining here A, harmonic minor, we're starting on the 17th fret of the E string, the A, and playing 17, 16, 17, and going to the 20th fret. Playing this one descending, then kind of the same sequence, starting on the 17th fret of the B string, the E, playing E, F, E, D, 17, 18, 17, 15. Same sequence, starting on the 14th fret of the G string, B, C, B, A, going to the G sharp, then comes this line, oh sorry, or in the beginning it's played this way. And here we are playing the G sharp, starting on the G sharp again, 14th fret, uh, sorry, 13th fret on the G string. Playing 13, 14, 16, 17, then again descending, then playing 15, 14 on the D string, jumping to 15, 14 on the A string, playing 12, 11 on the A string, and 13, 12 on the E string, We're still in A harmonic minor. Now comes a little sweep section. Here we are outlining two inversions of the A minor sweep. First this one, and then this one. 14, 12, uh, 14, 13, 12, 17, descending, and then 9, 10, 8, 12. So after that we are playing again ascending this last sweep, going into a little scale run. Like this 10 12 10 8 12 10 9 okay sorry slow and then we are playing this idea but we're not playing it in this kind of area anymore because the jump from here back here 
it's a little bit different. So we're playing it here more around the ninth fret. Sorry. And here we're starting 9, 10, 12 on the B string, playing the 8th fret on the E string, descending. And where we have only played the 15th and the 14th fret on the G string, we are now playing the 10th and the 9th fret on the G string. Uh, 15th, 14th on the D string, we are now playing 10, 9 on the G string. Then 10, 9, 7 on the D string, sliding to the 6th fret, 7th fret on the A string, the E, and resorting to our root note, the A. Okay, let's check out the complete section again. A little tip for you guys when we are here on the 13th fret, playing this phrase. Start with an upstroke. It's easier to play this kind of phrase for alternate picking with all the jumps between those strings when we're starting with an upstroke. So up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And now we can play down, up, down, up, which makes the jumps from the G to the D and from the D to the A string a little bit easier. Okay, next section, a little bit of a patchier section right now. First, we are outlining F major patio, starting on the A, the 5th fret on the E string, playing A, 8, the 3rd uh, and the 5th, and then we are playing this sweeper patio. 8, 10, and 8, 12 on the A string, and then 10, 10, 10 on the D, G and B string. Don't forget the roll technique here. So everything is clean, nice, so everything is nice and clean playing up to the 10th fret on the E string and resolving to the root note, the 13th fret on the E string. And then we're playing in triplets. This section we have the same fingering, we're on the same shape, in the F major shape, and we're playing 13, 10, uh, 13, 8, sorry, then 10, 10 on the B and on the G string. So we have a three string sweep up at you here. If you have any problems with three string sweep arpeggios, check out my lesson for three string sweep arpeggios right here. Just click on the I. And then we're sweeping up to the A string. But not the F, only the A here because we need our index finger to jump to the next note. Now, but let me first play this one again. Here it's really important to check out the time feeding. First have 16 notes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then triplets. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, our next arpeggio is an A minor arpeggio, which is a round of the same idea. We're starting with the A again. But this time we're not going to the 8th fret on the um, A string, we're going to the 7th fret. Now playing or outlining this arpeggio. D string 10th fret, G9, B10, E8, 12, and now in the triplet feeling of this was 16 note. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and now in triplets. This we were patch you here. We're starting on the 17th fret on the E string playing 17, 12, and then 13, and then 14, 14, 15. Sliding back to 12 and playing the same arpeggio that we have before for A minor, just the triplet sound. So we have. Oh, sorry. This one. Okay, let me play those two arpeggios again. First F major and A minor. Then we're playing A diminished. Sorry. And the first part of this is pretty easy. We are just playing 5 8 and then taking the same shape and playing 5 8, 6 9, 7 10, 8 11 on the A, D, and G string as hammer ons. Now comes a bit of a tricky part because we have to jump with our pinky from the 11th fret to the 10th fret on the B string to outline this weaver patch you here. And here we are playing 10, 7, 8. And then we're going to the D string, 10, and playing it ascending to the 7th fret. And here we are doing a position shift to the 7th, um, the, 5th, uh, 4th, sorry, 5th, 7th, 5th, and 4th fret. Let me try to take this a little bit. 
sometimes I play this pinky, the pinky in it, and kind of cheating it right in the way because this motion is pretty, pretty familiar for me from some other metal stuff, but the perfect way would be this kind of way, without the pinky. Um, okay, and then we are going to play some really cool arpeggio ideas again, playing first E major. Just this basic E major shape, a little bit of sweep, slow sweep, not like this, um, that tempo. And here we're playing 7, 6, 4, 5, 4, 7, going to F major. And here is again a little bit of a difference how you can play it. And some taps, they're standing this line. Uh, sorry, uh, what was it again? But I think this one is pretty tricky and I saw some people covering it and doing it something like this. They are not the same notes, but it's a little bit easier to play it in that way. So taking this F major arpeggio and just transform it one octave below. So we're not starting on the 8th fret on the E string and then we're going to the 5th fret on the G string. Okay, so let me play this section again. And we're playing get E major. And now we're playing a fast F major arpeggio. Same shape like the E major, just uh, E major, just one half step higher. And we're resolving the seventh of F major, which is the sixth fret of the A string. Really interesting choice of note here. Really, really cool. Then we have the next section, which goes like this. We are first starting with the C major shape. We're playing 3rd fret on the A string, 7 and then 5th to 5th. It's the same shape like the F major here, just transformed from the 8th fret to the 3rd fret. Then we're playing the E major shape. With the 5th fret uh, on the A string, hammering back to the 7th fret. Then again the C shape. And then the E shape, the E major shape, or the E major, sorry, the E major chord, not the E major shape, uh, at the three string three arpeggio, really fast. And then we're going back to this A minor shape, which we know from this section here. I'm playing this one just really quick from the E string to the A string. So again. Ah, sorry. Ah, uh, sorry, three strings we have your shape. Okay, and now comes the really, really bitchy section. Oh, I've practiced this so much. It's a short section, but the really weird section. It's this one here. Oh, uh, sorry. So, here we are outlining really interesting A minor F major arpeggio shape with a lot of string skipping, a lot of interesting um, string playing um, alternate picking here. And first we're playing this A minor arpeggio starting on the root, fifth string on the A E string, playing the fifth, seventh string on the A string and the minor third, tenth string on the D string. Then we are playing uh, sorry. We are going now from the A to the minor third on the E string, the C, jumping to the A, playing the fifths from the D and the G string. So seventh fret D string, ninth fret G string, we're going back. So we have this section first. Then we are playing uh, sorry. Uh, then we're playing E, and now we're playing again the G, this time again 10th fret on the D string, and the A, oh it's only an A minor, did I say A minor F major before? No, it's only A minor, sorry for that. And then doing this as a four note phrase. So here we have really interesting skin, skin skipping, string skipping in it. And then we're playing the same shape, the second shape, kind of the same shape, just an octave higher, starting on the 7th fret on the D string, going to the 10th fret on the G string, playing the 9th fret on the G string, uh, sorry, 10th fret on the D string, 9th fret on the G string, and the 13th fret on the 
B string. And normally he would go one note below again, back to the ninth fret, but to play this one live was pretty pretty hard, so I skipped that note and just go from the 13th fret um, B string to the next line to have a little bit more of time to prepare the next line and go with the finger because I'm going from a stretch position to a really close position where I'm going to play speed picking. I need a little bit of time so I skip that last note and I think Jeff Loomis is doing this as well and the other guy who's covering it is doing this as well. Skipping the last note because we're not in the studio we're playing it live and to play this or to be able to play this live sometimes you have to cheat a little bit and uh, you have to get a little bit more time from something to prepare for the next phrase and here I skipped that's the reason why I skipped the last note yes now comes a really cool kind of Ingvi vibe uh, speed picking lick which goes like this and slow And here we are only doing one thing and we are repeating it in different octaves. So we're starting on the 12th fret, playing 12, 13, 12, 10, and the same thing on the B string. Just adding the major 7th of A minor to it, uh, the 9th fret on the B string. Now we're playing this in octaves. It's not bad if you skip that last note from the phrase, the um, G sharp. It's totally fine if you are not fast enough and you only play this one. Important is this last note here. Okay, and after this we are repeating the main section a little bit, but first let me play everything again. Here we go. Justin. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, I hate it. Whew. I have lost so many takes just because of this. This section here, it cost me a lot of time to nail this one, really really tough section, especially to get from one position to the next. So I practiced like this, I played the arpeggio before and then I tried to get right into the right note, right into the perfect position for our hands to make this kind of stretch. Just play practicing this one. as well to get out of this line just practicing sorry ah. Ah. so this is a really really interesting and weird line okay now as I've said we're repeating this a little bit we are starting again with ah, sorry Now comes the next section, or now comes the interlude to the next section, which goes like this. And here we are outlining really interesting D major kind of shape. And we're first playing root, fifths, major third on the E, A and on the G string. So we have again a little bit of string skipping in here. So we have 10, 12, 11. The next shape goes like this. Here we are playing the major third, the root and the fifths. So 9th fret on the A string, 12th fret on the D string, and 14th fret on the G string. Sorry. This is a really interesting shape idea as well. So I've tried to take this one and make a lesson for myself to get used to this fingering. Because this is a really cool chord shape, so we can transform it to any kind of chord, like for example G major, D major, let's say A major as well minor. That's right. We 
which is a bit trickier because of all those little stretches. Okay, now we're going to the next section. The next section goes like this. Reserving to the F sharp. Okay, let us check out this section. We are first starting with a B minor, or B diminished arpeggio. Playing again the same shape like we are remembering the A diminished arpeggio before. Just this time starting on the B, so 7, 10, 8, 11. Then we are playing the 9th fret on the D string with our middle finger, and then we are playing this shape, this diminished shape. 7, 10 on the G string, 9 on the B string, 7, 10 on the E string. Sliding to the 16th fret on the E string, we are playing the same shape, but this time in triplets. Here we're going to the G string, then we're playing 15, 12 on the D string, going back to the 15th fret, and playing the same shape, ascending. A little bit of a weird shape here, but it's playable, it's okay. Important here is the rhythmic idea. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and then triplets. <laughs> or something like that. Just check the tabs, there's the right notation. <laughs> okay, and the next part we are playing F sharp minor. We are now in F sharp minor section. This one really cool transition to F sharp minor. And we're starting with an F sharp minor patch. Starting on the 16th fret of the D string, playing 16, 14, 14, 14 as sweep. Remember the roll technique. A little pull off from the 17th fret back to the 15th or 14th fret. So, so we're not going. We're not going back to the 14th fret on the D string. We're going sliding to the second of F sharp minor to the ninth, the uh, 13th fret on the G string. And then we're playing 14th fret on the D string and 16th fret on the A string and um, creating an F sharp minor 7 9 arpeggio. Playing 12th fret on the um, A string, sliding to 11th fret, 12th fret on the E string, 9th fret on the E string, going back to the 11th fret on the A string, and resolving into F sharp. Let me play this one again. This is as well a really, really awesome arpeggio kind of idea. Like you can play this one as well in different scales, like for example E, or let's say A. Ah, sorry. It's a bit tricky and a bit unfamiliar in the beginning, but we're getting used to it when we're playing it a little bit more often. Okay. Now coming to the next big section, the first big sweeper patch here. I'll look up a sweeper patch section. All right, let's check this one out. Let me try to take this one a little bit higher. So just for the sake of the video, of the sound quality here. So let us check out the big sweep arpeggio section, the first one. We are starting F sharp minor, playing this off arpeggio. So we have 9th fret on the A string, hammering to the 12th, sweeping 11, 11 on the D and on the G string, starting now on the D string, and playing up to the 9th fret on the E string, so 11, 11, 10, 9. Again, a sweep. And now we have a big section of three string sweep arpeggios here. So. And the first bar or the next bar, we are taking one idea and transforming it into different keys. And the idea is we're taking um, our root chord and then playing the fourth degree of the scale as a minor chord to it and going back to the root chord. In this case, in this case it's F sharp minor where we're beginning. And then going to B minor and back to F sharp minor. So we're doing. Mm -hmm. 
then we're playing F sharp and G sharp, 14th fret and 15th, uh, 16th fret on the E string. So let us analyze this a little bit more. The F sharp major shape goes like this, uh, F sharp minor, sorry, 11, 10, 9 and 14 on the E string and our right hand is doing pick, then we're pulling, upstroke and three downwards threes and then repeating this. Then we are playing B minor, this shape here, 14, 10, 12, 11, 12, 10, 14, same idea for the right hand and going back and playing F sharp minor again two times. So we have one, two, three, four, repeating it, two, three, but not playing the last time the F sharp minor patcher, but instead playing, as I've said, F sharp, G sharp, going to A minor. Playing the same idea, but with A minor and D minor. So we have... Sorry. Playing A, C sharp to go to... Uh, to the next section, which is not the same idea. Here we have a little bit of a different. We are still in A minor and playing A minor, C major, D minor, C major, F sharp minor, C major, F sharp minor. Okay. The A major, the first A minor section, sorry, goes like this 20, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17. The right hand is the same idea like before. We are the three strings, we will pet your shape. Then C major, which is 15, 12, 13, 12. D minor, we know this one from our A minor uh, arpeggio idea right before. So we have um, 17, 13, 15, 14. C major again. Again, F sharp minor, C major, and F sharp minor twice. Okay, this was the first big sweep section and now we're going to the reprise of the intro, the repeating of the intro. Let's check this one out. So now we are in F sharp minor, so we're taking the same intro idea but uh, moving it two frets higher. So we are now in F sharp minor. And playing the first two ideas. And after this, we're going to the next really big sweep of at your idea. But before we're doing this, I have to take a little break. See you there. Cheers. So, we're first starting with F sharp minor and going through all three inversions. Starting on this one. 9, 7, 6, 7, 5, 9. Then we're starting to here. 14, 9, 10. 13 and jumping to 70 40 40 and playing the 16th fret on the D string as well playing from the E string to the D string and then to the B string to play this um, scale idea um, 17 uh, 15 14 on the B string and 16 14 on the G string then we're going to B minor and we're playing this shape here, 16, 15, 14, 19, back, 16 on the D string and 17 on the e str A string, sliding to the 14th fret on the A string and doing this sweep here. It's the same like in the main theme with A minor, but this time with B minor. Then we're uh, playing it again, descending. To the G string, so we have, and then we're playing this line in the B minor scale 15, 14, 12 on the B string, 15, 14, 12 on the E string. Then we're going back to F sharp minor, playing all three inversions, but this one's starting by that, and the octave of that inversion here, going to D minor making the same move like on B minor and on A minor in the main theme, but this time D minor. Well, one string is a bit out of tune. Sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> and after D minor, we're playing the D minor scale. 
So we're playing 15, uh, 17, 15, 13, 17, 15, 13, 16, 14, 12, 16, 14, 12. Okay, and then we are playing again F sharp minor, but the same scale segment here. 14, 12, 10, 14, 12, 10, 10 on the E and on the B string. And then playing the same thing, one octave below, and another octave below. Playing now A minor, sorry, A major, 9, 5, 5, 6. Going to the next inversion, 12, 9, 10, 9. Next inversion, playing this one as a 5 string sweep arpeggio. Oh, I think the D string is a bit out of tune, sorry. Up, up, up. That's a bit better. Yes. And so. And then we're playing E major. Three strings we will you. And E sharp major. Okay. And this was the second big sweep of your section. Ah. Sorry. Ah, E sharp major, Justin. Woo, this one is crazy. And now we're going to the next big section, the next tapping section. And the tapping section slow goes like this. Again, now this time fast. So first we're going to check out the left hand and the right hand, then we're combining those. The left hand starts with this fragment here. 14, 10. 15, 12, 14, 10. 12, 9, uh, sorry, first, 7, 5, 10, 9, uh, 10, 7, sorry, 9, 6, so, and then, we are repeating those, and then we are playing 7, 5, 7, 4, and going to 8, 4. So the left hand is playing 19, 20, 19, 18, uh, 15, four, uh, 15, 12, 14, 14, and then 14, 13, 14, 17, 15, 12, 12, 12, 12 11, sorry. And then combining those all together. Playing this kind of weird tripling feeling. we're going to the solo which start with another really big sweep section so let's check out sweep section number three <laughs> So let's check this section out slow. Okay, first we're starting with D major. 
The shape five nine seven 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 five ten. Roll with the middle finger, making a three-string sweep of it, you. Jumping to the um, next next inversion, which is a big jump. Sorry. So we have now 17, 14, 15, 14, 16, 17, 12. Going to the same shape, just an A. Next inversion, still A minor, A major. Playing it here up to 9, 5, 5, 6, 7, 7. Playing B minor. Here we have to play the first four notes a little bit faster than the rest. Going to the next inversion. Playing this scale run, and then we're playing this triplet run. Going to E minor. So we have first the three string sweep of Petra shape, next inversion, and then five string. And then we're starting on the 12th fret on the B string, playing a four string, uh, sorry, a three string sweep arpeggio. Going to the next inversion, next inversion, next inversion, playing F sharp major. Back to the last inversion from F sharp major and playing a five string sweep arpeggio from the last inversion of F sharp major. We know this one already. We have played all the inversions so many times now in those crazy sweep sections. Um, then we are playing this kind of chromatic crazy idea. We are just playing 12, 13, 15, 12, 14, 15 on the B on the E string and then I'm moving this one up every half step. Going to the next section. So the next big ass section goes like this. Oh, sorry. Ah, this one's so tricky. This one is really tricky because we have to be really, really fast and doing some really big jumps. Now, Jeff Loomis is doing this as pull-off and legato and all of them are doing different shapes and different fingerings because it's harmonized as well, so it's really hard to figure out which uh, fingering he's doing and it's kind of really crazy. So I thought to myself, okay, uh, what is an easy way to create the same sound and the same vibe, but to have it a little bit more possible to play for everyone. And then I realized I take the same fingering, the same shape, and repeat it all. So, first off, we are changing between 6th fret on the D string and 5th fret on the D string, which is the G sharp and the G, or the A flat and the G, depends how you see it. And between that, we are only playing this idea in octaves 9, 11, 12, 9, 11, 12, and then that same thing in octaves. And I do like a burst. So picking and then after this a little bit of legato pulling. <laughs> and this has to be a sound. And this had, uh, and this has to sound a little bit more dirty. I mean, come on, look at the original. <laughs> It's not that easy, it's not that uh, sounding dirty as well, a little bit for Jason's, uh, I would say, for Jason's uh, level. And then we're coming to the solo, which is, I would say, and now don't hate me for this sentence, a little bit unmature from the solo writing. I mean, he's 19, the execution of this is phenomenal, but so far all solos are sweeps and picking, and we have no exception in the in the solo section. Um, but still, I love it. I love it all. Because who doesn't love Jason? Jason's just just awesome. Okay, okay let's play the first section of this solo slow. Sorry. Sorry. Ouch. 
up to that point. All right, we are first starting with an A flat minor sweep up We are an A flat minor playing this inversion. Going to a scale kind of line, which goes like this. A little bit of A flat, uh, A flat harmonic minor. And we're starting. Or oh, even melodic minor? No, it's harmonic minor. We are first starting playing 16, 14, 12, 16, 12 on the E and on the B string. Playing 15, 13, 12 on the G string. Playing 14, 13 on the uh, D string. Playing it back again. Playing 12, 13 on the G string. Doing a little trill between the 11th and the 12th fret. Sorry. Going back to the 9th fret. Playing 9, 12, uh, 9 11, 12, 14. And then playing 11, 12, 14, 11, 12, twill, thriller. 14, 12, 11, 12, 16, 14, 16, 8. Ah, oh, no, sorry. After the trill. And when we're playing 14 and 11 again, we are playing a triplet run. Triplet run, sorry, it's a little bit late. I'm going to get müde, tired on English. Um, but let me continue and try to my best to finish this video. All right. <coughs> Playing 12, 14, 16, 12, 14, 16 on the B and on the E string. And resolving into the 18th fret on the E string. Alright, this section again. Sorry. Now we're doing a triplet run. Ah, sorry. Always do this kind of mistake. We are first starting on the 18th fret where we have landed, playing 18, 16, 14, then 17, 16, 14, and 14 on the B string, then 16, 15, 13 on the G string, sliding to the 12th fret, and then playing uh, 14, 13, and 11 on the D string. Then we, after that, we are playing, we are playing a scale run on one string on the G string, playing 16, 15, 12, 13. 15, 13, 11, 13, 11, 9, 11, 9, 8. Then we're playing this line. 8, sorry. 11, 8, 9, 11, pulling back, doing the double pull again. And then we're just playing to the A flat this scale. So we have 11, 9, 8, 11. Now we are outlining the A, uh, A flat, sorry, <coughs> A flat minor arpeggio again. But with this kind of little jumps in there. So we have first 11 and then 8 on the G string with our pinky and our index. Then with the middle finger 9 on the D string. With the ring finger 9 on the G string. Playing with now the 8th fret on the G string with the middle finger. So we can play the 7th fret on the E string with our index. Then with the middle finger 9th fret on the B string. And reserving into the 11th fret on the E string with the pinky. Sorry. And doing a sweep arpeggio with a little hammer on a pull off before that. The same shape, just descending sweep. Then we're playing a little cool chromatic section. 9, 8, 7 on the B string. 9, 8 on the G string. Going back to the 7th fret on the B string, the F sharp. Then playing 9, 8, 7 on the G string. 9, 8 on the D string, playing 7th fret on the G string. Playing, oh sorry. 9, 8, 7 on the D string. And 6, 8 again on the D string. So again. Ah, sorry, we're not playing 
sorry, I said that wrong. We're not playing the 8th as the 7th fret on the D string. We're going straight to the 6th fret, playing 6-8. This is the correct line. Then we're playing A major. This shape, 12, 11, 9, 10, 9, 12. <coughs> Going to the 14th fret on the E string. I'm playing this in between to the 12th fret. Still in A major, so still with the 9th fret on the E string and the 10th fret on the G B string. And then we're having this really interesting pattern. We're outlying E major patio. <coughs> 16th fret to 12th fret pulling. 14 on the E string, 14, 12 on the B string, 13 on the G string. And then the same thing ascending. And then we are going as uh, to this shape, which is basically the same idea, but we are now having a pinky on the, what is this, the 20th fret, putting to the 15th fret, 17, 17, and then 17th fret with the ring finger again, on the G string. Okay, let me try to play this section fast. And this is a really interesting idea, the last hammer and pull-off section. Okay, we're going to the second part of the solo, which goes like this. Okay, now we are going to the big, big solo, the last ending with a lot of sweep in there. I love that. Let's check this one out. Let's break this one down. We are first starting with the thrill between 15, 17, 13, 15 on the E string, 12, 13, 10, 12, uh, sorry, and 8, 12. Then we're playing this line, which goes like this and slow. First playing 10, 12, 13, 12, 10, and then playing this phrase. 13, 10, 12, 13, and descending. We're still in the C major scale, so the same sequence, just with 12, 9, 10. Same frets on the D string. And nearly same frets on the A string, but we are moving our index finger to the 8th fret. And here we are only playing 12, 10, 8. Then we're doing this F major sweeper section. Here we are changing between five string sweep arpeggios and three string sweep arpeggios, starting off with this inversion. Five string, going to three. Next inversion, five. Then three. Next inversion, five. Sliding to the next one. The last one, three. And then this one again, five. So we have five, three, five, three, five, three, five, three. Strings we have you. Then we are playing this line. Ten, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, twelve, ten. Playing the same thing while an octave lower. Playing C major as we have you. First, this four string inversion. Go to going to three string. Five string inversion. Five with a little bit of a thriller here, between the 15th and the 20th fret. And playing it back onto the low, the low, bringing it back onto the low A string. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit tired here. Uh, it's a long day of filming, but we are getting this one. So we are doing another three string sweep arpeggio here. Then we're going back from this one. And 
and then the final lick, which goes like this. <laughs> and here we're playing A minor scale. We're playing it 7, 9, 10, 7, 10, 9 on the G, on the G string. And then we are playing, sorry, again ascending, uh, but with a little hammer on a pull off between the 7th and the 9th fret on the G string. And then 10, 7, 9, 10. <clears throat> now the same sequence. In this shape, we were creating a little bit of an A harmonic minor scale sound. So we are 9th fret, 10th fret, and 12th fret. Then we're playing. 10, 12, 13, 10, 13, 12, 10, and ascending the six note phrase. All right. And again, let me try to play this one fast because it's a lot of fun. I mean, come on, those sweeps who don't love those sweeps are so much fun. Yeah, focus, Justin. And this incredible one. I love it. Ha! Sounds so cool. <laughs> okay. Ah, sorry. Ah, it's a no, we have to continue. Sorry for that. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the ending of Perpetual Burn. <laughs> so the ending starts with the intro, and it goes like this. And then we're playing this section. All right, let's check this one out. First, we have an A minor video, which resolves into an F. 17, 12, 13, 14, 13, 12, 13. Then the next inversion, which resolves into the D. And then normal. Next inversion. And then we are playing some diminished arpeggios. Starting on the fifth fret. Five, four, sorry, five, two, four, five, two. And then again this one A setting. Going to the next inversion. Now the cool thing about diminished arpeggios is our finger rings or finger shapes won't change for the next inversion because they are symmetrical. And then on the third inversion we are only playing down to the G string. So we have going to the next inversion, doing the same sequence. And now coming to the end section of it. Now for the end section, we have some really cool chord section here. We have E major, A major, D major, B major, then everything one, ha uh, one full step below. So D major, G major, C major, A major, another full step below, C major, F major, D major, G major, resolving to C. And now the outline of those arpeggios is a little bit different uh, coming or is a little bit different between um, how every player is playing it. Some people are playing those arpeggios like this or like this, which can be easy but it's kind of a stretch and hard to get from one arpeggio to the next. And you can play or you don't can outline the F major and stuff like this where because we have to use some open strings. And this is not really good. So I use this method. We only play like the first three strings um, from the inversion that we all know from this one with the big roll technique here and there. <coughs> 
Now I, I call this, I call this one, I call those one reverse sweep arpeggios, reverse three string sweep arpeggios because it's the same shape like the same idea like this one but reversed. Uh, on the higher string, which is normal for us guitar players, we are picking it, pulling it like I said in the beginning, then we're playing another pick and then we have three sweep sweeps, uh, three string sweeps down. But here we have it reversed. We have a hammer on, down pick and then three upward sweeps. That's it. Just simply sweeping C major in five string sweep arpeggios, all inversions from that one to the octifier. Again, no, sorry. Again, and then bending to the twenty fourth fret. The E, which was the last note of the complete perpetual burn solo. Great job. And now I and now I need a break. Whew. Ah, one time. Come on. It's so much fun. This was the complete lesson done. Nice. All right. I hope you could learn something from that lesson. I hope now you can try to play it, try to master it, try to cover it. I want to see a ton of covers now on YouTube where you guys are playing Perpetual Burn. As I've said, if you liked the video, then it would be an honor for me if you could subscribe, if you like or comment. And if you want more Jason Becker videos or in the style of Jason Becker, then write it down in the comments. I'm thinking about doing a complete month about Jason Becker, so just write it in the comments. Yes, we want more. We want more. And I will bring you more. All right, so much for this video. Now it's time to go. Now, no, now we are not going back into a practice camp. We are practice. We have practiced a lot with this video. Now it's time to relax a little bit. <coughs> Tomorrow is the day where we can go back into the practice cave to practice to become the ultimate shredder. All right, so hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video. Cheers and stay progress. Bye.